what resource do you have? Not the money, you have time. If you're young, you have time. You have so much time. Right? When I was young, I feel like I had a lot of time and I wasted it all a lot. Alright? And this one, I decided after I work, I go back to the gym and I push it outside. Alright? So, invest in a lot of time. Prepare to invest immense amount of time on your part, on your craft. Because when you do that, not only you put out more content, you will also get better at it. So the invention of the hate, the first part, people say you suck, this is bullshit, you become less. Because they realize they cannot stop you. The only person that will stop you is yourself. And that almost happened to me, to be honest. Within the first year of me drawing comics, right? I hated doing it. In 2010, from 9 September 2010, I started drawing comics. After that, uh, 9, October, 9 September 2011, I felt like I I felt like, why? No point. I don't get the result I want. That's where the mentality comes in. I have to ask myself, why am I doing this? Why am I drawing this for me? Is it doing it for money? Is it doing it for pain? Then after I realize that, you put this all aside, you put this aside, and you just say, I do this because Sukhahati is good. My own Sukhahati, I do what I like. But we will say what we want to do, it will not change the situation for me. And that's why I start to like cultivate within myself that I do because I like her. No, no famous money is mine. Because I did have a friend, he's a successful engineer. He messaged me on Facebook and said, You do this game money, man? Don't need uh, focus on your career. Today he's trying to ask me how to go young child and go with you. And see now, right? But here's the thing, haters will come in many shapes, sizes, and forms. Right? It just depends on how you push it through. I believe every one of you here. You have aspirations to put something out there. Alright? You want to do something, you want to push something out, you want people to see your stuff. Alright? But the intention that you put in your craft and you put it out there, right? What do you expect from people? Do you expect them to love? Do you expect like, a cooperation from them? If that's what you expect, right? You are never gonna be here. Alright? Because I've seen people, when I get comments, they say, what? Oh, it's so easy, why? And they start doing but they will be looking for the thing, and if it's next day, we will do months. So, motive and intention when you put your craft on is very, very important. As long as you have the right mindset, you can. Do it not for your friends, do it for yourself. And then when you see the thing grow, I think it's the best thing ever. The best thing ever for me in my timeline right now was seeing my book on the bookshelf, number one best time. That was the best thing. I wouldn't say that. Wait, just, okay, if you guys haven't read my comments, my comments is based on my bachelor life with my housemates. And if you read it, you will realize there's a lot of stories are, uh, wow, you know, very embarrassing. But here's the thing, after I did it, initially they were afraid. They're like, why are you ruining my image for But then when they realize when they walk out, outside, and people actually can correlate this person, is this person from comics? Oh, hey, you're the guy. Right? Well, did you really your friends, uh? <laughs> of, like, but he really shit your pants up. Instead of covering his face, running home and crying, right? He was like, yeah. <laughs> I shit my pants. <laughs> Loud and proud of telling people that I shit them. Because I went by the door and put it on me. You see, so after a while, you know, the story that you tell, if you entertain people, right? I mean, come think of it. You have a story to tell. I said the most embarrassing story that you have in your entire life, uh, right? And you just tell your friends. You tell your friends about my mom, and yeah, they will laugh at this happen to me. And everyone laugh. How would that make you feel? Will you feel you embarrassed? Yes, a little bit. Alright, it's an embarrassing story. But everyone laugh. People enjoy your story. So the basic essence of putting your content out there is to have a good story. Correct. So if you have a good story, people will appreciate it. And it's even better if you are part of that story. So it's always like, hey, this thing happened to me or last night, I tell you what. I can't look like that. You know, when you tell people will pay attention, people like, it's funny, you are like, oh, that's an amazing story. You have that message, everyone has an amazing story. Correct. Something that has happened to you is so funny that you think that you always tell it at every party and every gathering you should tell your friends. Correct? What do you take that and then you write, you write it out, you go into a video, you make it into a comic. Correct? Everyone has already has that basis of content making in the down inside. Alright? Okay, uh, 
25 minutes, I've been talking for 25 minutes, my time. Alright, without a breath of a thing. But let me, before I end this, before I end, end, end this, uh, this talk, uh, alright, I just want, I just want uh, to, to bring this into another perspective. I mean, you might have heard of it before, I read it online, and I thought it was quite inspiring, and I want to share with you guys. Alright? What if, uh, what if uh, every morning you wake up, right? You have, I'm not so sure the exact figures, okay? Let's just say, let's just put it like you have 38,000 ringgit in your bank account every morning. Wow, that's great, right? I have 38,000 ringgit in my bank account every morning. But here's the thing, the catch is, you have to spend it all before 12 o'clock next day. You know what happened? The money disappears. Wow. What can you do with this 38,000 and here? Well, I bet they put down payment card. Correct? But this is the thing, like I said, your resource is not the money. That 38,000, that's your time. We have over 30,000 seconds every day. You convert that into, you think of it, money, every second is money. Right? Think of it that way. How would you spend your 30,000 every day? Alright, so that is my sharing for you. Hopefully you guys were not too bored by it. I hope you guys enjoyed my talk. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. But thanks for coming to my talk and thank you very much. Any questions? Okay, no problem. Thanks a lot, guys.